use. So today's video is going to be an evening clean with me. Let's make some dinner. Let's get everybody fed. You can hear them in the background. It's summer, so it's always a little bit more chaotic to be on a routine. And my family, we like routines, but we also like a little bit more of a spontaneous kind of approach to life. Uh, and sometimes your house gets messy. This room is not too terrible, but I see some roses in a vase back there that are no longer alive. So I gotta kinda do a couple things. And I'm currently making some chicken nuggets, cause classic, classic dinner. I mean, who doesn't love chicken nuggets? All right, let's jump into it. Getting my podcast on. Well, not my podcast. Mind you, there is a link to my podcast below called The Sandwich. I'm listening to Unladylike, which is an amazing podcast. So empowering, so educational. So if you love that kind of stuff, entertaining, empowering, educational. Bam. All right, let's do this. smudging sticks and you can smudge your home or sage them uh, to get rid of bad juju and sometimes sometimes you need to do that it smells very nice this tends to be an area right there where we kind of put stuff so I'm gonna tidy that off the rest is eh, there's a few things in there I can move but the rest sort of stays getting towards the end of my kitchen tidy, which time is it? 7.45, and this tends to be how I sort of wind down. So I finished dinner, obviously I've eaten a bunch, I've cleaned up, I always try to clear this table. This table is a collector of things, and rather than put all of the things and just push them aside or like hide them, I legit throw a bunch of stuff away, can I be honest? There's always like designs and arts and crafts this area right here always collects a bunch of stuff so I threw it you know I got rid of it this area too down here and I'm the type of tidier where I put everything back where it's supposed to go or I throw stuff away like I don't just move it all over and that's why I find tidying just makes sense it's like everything has a place and you put it back in the place it does involve a lot of steps so let's see how many steps have I taken today nearly 5,000 steps and I've had a pretty uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I've sat a lot today at my desk downstairs. So I swear to God, I got the last 3,000 steps just right now. Um, so now I'm actually going to pass the vacuum. Dean cleaned the floors two nights ago, which honestly, it's like how there's so much junk on our floors. Like actual sunflower seeds, onion, like who even knows? So I'm going to vacuum that up. So what was so nice is Dyson actually sent me their latest beautiful cordless vacuum. This is the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute Upright Cordless Vacuum. It is a beautiful piece of machinery, can I just tell you. What's kind of wild is the guy who created these, so James Dyson, actually announced that he's no longer creating vacuums with cords because he feels that this can, re like, he feels that these can replace them, but they have that much suction power. You guys know I'm a Dyson fan. Uh, I already have the V8, which I love. Anyway, I'm so excited to try out this new, this new vacuum, and a big thanks to Dyson for uh, sending it to me. I really appreciate it, it's a lovely gift. So the Absolute model comes with this motor head, I believe it's called, for picking up lint and doing hardwood floors, but you just saw my floor. There is actual debris that I need to pick up. So I'm gonna use this model because it has this feature here where you can pick up more debris or less debris, and I've got a lot of debris, so let's do this. <laughs> Some item, whether it be tech, beautiful Dysons, I mean. The bazooka. I, of, isn't uh, it just like, and you can actually see what you're picking up. Look at that debris. 
I love it. All right, back to cleaning. The kitchen is tidy. I'm about to stop and make myself a cup of coffee. Um, but while that's brewing, I'm just gonna clean up the living room. This makes my family very happy. Both Dean and I just love a nice clean table. There's a couple things here, but you know, those are things in use. We have a little charging set up over there. Uh, but that just makes us both so happy. And now the floor has been vacuumed and looks amazing. And it's Wednesday right now when I'm filming this. So it's really nice, I'm finding, to kind of break up some of the tidying. Like I tend to do a bunch on the weekend, like the laundry and that kind of stuff, but it ends up taking up a huge chunk of time. And you guys know that occasionally I have a cleaning lady come by my house, but I find in the summer it's really hard to manage that because there's so many of us home. And we don't, you know, we have a tiny house, it's just not tiny, but a small home. And to have an extra person in the house cleaning while we're all here, I find it really counterproductive, honestly. Like I'm just like, why? Is that worth it? You know, like we're all still home making a giant mess. So in the summer, I tend to stagger out those cleanings, which means a little bit more falls on us. And Dean's great. Like he does a lot of the deep cleaning where I tend to do a lot of the surface cleaning. So it works out because I really don't like to deep clean, just a heads up. So this is tidy. I'm going to just pick up the living room. I've already tidied the bathroom. I took out the garbage, I took out the recycling, took out the food garbage, and that's okay. To me, that's good for midweek. We don't really hang out upstairs. There's not much going on. There's a couple of unmade beds, but that's about it. To me, that suffice. It's 8 p.m. Esme's playing outside. Jack crashed early because he had a full day at summer camp, and um, I wouldn't mind painting my nails. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's quickly tidy up the living room so we can have coffee and paint nails, you know? nice and tidy ready to take on the week and on the weekend I believe I'm gonna actually take the sofas apart and vacuum on the inside of them but otherwise you're all nice and tidy a lot of times there's little toys hiding back here but I left just one that they're using Ugh, cord fiasco I have peppermint oil diffusing into the air so it smells very nice rest my vacuum for a moment I mean there's always gonna be stuff right I live with a bunch of other people. <laughs> Two of them are children. So let's make a coffee and settle into this evening. There we have it, coffee. I'm one of those people who can drink, just drink coffee, like whenever, kind of. It doesn't really bother me so much. So I know to some, I'm drinking coffee at 8.15 at night, like a oh, horror. So now I'm gonna go sit on my deck. Esme doesn't wanna come inside because it's summer, so she's playing. And I think I'm gonna paint these nails, but first I'm gonna play on Twitter because that's how I do. I just got this color from Essie and it's called Mrs. Always Right. And I quite like this, this kind of pink color. So I'm gonna do this on my toes and then redo this like ballet slippers one on my fingers because it's looking kind of rank. And that's the plan. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little peek into what you know, the hours between dinner and when I get to sit down and have a coffee, like moments before the kids go to bed, what they kind of look like. Um, and then I guess what you're not gonna see is once I get the kids to bed, um, sometimes I go sit at my desk and I do a little bit of work, but today I actually don't have to do that because I work during the day. So I'm actually just gonna chill and watch some Netflix, maybe have a hot shower. Kind of like how I like to wind down. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out Dyson's information. I've left it all below. Um, this video isn't sponsored, but they did provide me with that beautiful gift. And I was very excited to share with you because you know, you know I love me a Dyson. So anyway, all the links are below. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one.